Decomposing a complex shape into simple primitives is a fundamental problem in geometry processing. In this work, we present generalized cylinder decomposition. The core of our decomposition method is a novel quantitative measure of a shape part, referred as generalized cylindricity, or G-city for short. It measures how much a shape part departs from a perfect right cylinder. It is defined following the minimum description length principle as the cost of representing a generalized cylinder through skeletal and cross-sectional profile curves. With the G-City measure, the generalized cylinder decomposition starts by constructing small local cylinders utilizing local rotational symmetry axes. These overlapping local cylinders are then merged into longer non-local cylinders, which form over-complete covers of the input shape. This ensures a conservative buildup of the cylindrical parts. Hence, the final decomposition can be computed through global optimization, which we reduce to an exact cover problem and solve by Knuth algorithm X. This figure shows a gallery of generalized cylinder decomposition results on a mixture of organic and man-made objects, all obtained using the same default parameter setting. This is a stress test on a set of 3D monkeys, which shows that our G-City measure and G-City driven decomposition do exhibit robustness against bending and stretching of shape parts. For container-like objects with an inner concavity, our decomposition returns both outer and inner cylinders, a unique feature to the shape segmentation. Our algorithm can be easily altered to produce an overlapping cover to effectively reduce part counts. Moreover, we can convert the cylinder axes in the final decomposition into curved skeletons. The results are comparable with the state-of-the-art methods such as ROSA, mean curvature flow, Laplacian contraction, and multi-scale voxel-based methods. Both Laplacian contraction and voxel-based methods provide skeleton-driven shape segmentation. Ours appears to offer an attractive option. Our skeleton plus profile representation which is built via recursive geometric interpolation, naturally provides a progressive approximation of the input 3D shape. Compared with sphere meshes and another skeleton plus profile representation derived from Laplacian contraction, our generalized cylinder decomposition based approximations appear to be efficient and more accurate. The generalized cylinder decomposition also allows us to model the shape by manipulating the individual cylinders through 2D curve editing. We can easily delete parts, deform skeletal axes, and make fine edits on profile curves. Another modeling paradigm, morphing, is also supported. The ability to obtain generalized cylinders with significant variability may allow dramatic morphing results. Thank you.